Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly update. Thanks for joining our webinar and to start trading with one royal broker. As always, we have this disclaimer we should uh, provide it to you. So the information provided in this webinar is for educational purposes. It's not for or it is not an advi uh, investment advice. Please do your own research before start trading or investing. So we'll go through those pairs as each week we will do. Uh, UASD, USD JPY, GBP USD, the OC in metals we will cover the gold, Brent in oil, US 500 in indices, and finally we'll talk or analyze the BTC US. So let's start our analysis by using the MT4 platform. <clears throat> Starting with the forex pairs and using the daily time frame to know the direction or the bigger picture of the asset. So the pair UGBP USD is still in a bearish movement. Okay, we have this trend line that is respected. As you can see, we have three touches, one, two, three, so we can apply it. And the market could not break it to the upside yet. Now, if we look here inside this, um, inside those two key levels, the 121.72 and 21 or 23.14, sorry, so between 121, 72, and 23, 14, we can see that the market is moving in a sideway, in sideways. So it's like indecision between buyers and sellers. There is no one controlling the market. All what we can expect in the coming, as, as I can say, for short-term trading is most probably, as obvious, the market will test the lower end of this channel. So we have this channel, one, two, so most probably it will touch this area here. And since 2170, uh, and for the long term, most probably if this current daily bar closed as bearish, like this, most probably the GBP USD will continue its move to the 119.88 in the coming day. So in, let's say, one week, most probably this will continue its move to the downside, most probably to the 19.85 or 88. Okay, so to this level, if we have a bearish candlestick today, if it close like this. However, a close above this area, area 23.17, the, the market could start moving to the upside, but we will not have a reversal or an uptrend unless this blue bearish trend line will be broke. So for now, uh, short term, 2168. And most probably we will see a further movement to the downside 1988. EURUSD. EURUSD, also it was in a downward movement. However, it posted on the daily time frame kind of double bottom. This is the first bottom and this is the bo double bottom, uh, the second bottom. The market moved to the upside and similar to the GBP USD, it entered into a parallel channel. So if we go on the lower time frame, you can see that we have this movement inside a range. So most probably as the GBP USD, the market will continue to move to the downside, especially after this engulfing bearish pattern. This is an engulfing bearish pattern. So the market will continue its move till 0.469. This is our short term analysis. And if this occurs, we can see we have here a small correction in the form of a wedge. So if this daily uh, bar closed below this wedge, so most probably we will see a move 
all the way down until 0, 0380. Okay, let me zoom in. 0, 0360. Sorry. So a close below this trend line, the blue one, or below the patterns, it's the same. And then if we have a move below the 0, 0469, for the long-term analysis, as we can see, the EURUSD reaching 0.360. As a short-term, I can see the EURUSD reaching the lower end of the range, which is the 0.469. Australian USD. <clears throat> Australian USD. Uh, the, the Australian USD tried to reverse here, but failed. We had an engulfing bearish pattern that continue it's the main direction of the trend so we have a downward movement the market tried to reverse but failed we have a bearish engulfing pattern that moved the price to the downside double bottom similarly to the euro usd the market tried to move to the upside but also it failed so we entered again inside a parallel channel. we have a parallel channel a smaller one comparing to the euro usd and the gbp usd but as we can see the the three of them they are behaving similarly why because the usd is the quote currency the quote quote currency is the currency to the right of the pair so australian usd euro usd gbp usd so yeah australian usd we will have same analysis a move in the coming hour to the 69.10 and if the sellers keep pushing the price to the downside which is most probably will happen because the market is still bearish we have lower highs on the daily time frame lower highs lower highs so most probably the market will reach this level here for the long term or for the next week 68 67 okay usd jpy usd jpy failed to reverse here it posted a deep correction it turned to be a deep correction instead of a reversal the market moved to the upside we have those two bullish bars with long wicks to the downside showing that the, the buyers are pushing the market is heading toward the 136.71 this is our uh, short-term analysis so as you can see, we have a breakout of the trend line, a close above the 35.42 on the lower time frame, positive and good momentum. So the market will reach the previous high, which is 36.71. And if we have a close in the coming days, if we have a close on the daily time frame above the 36.71, the market continue its move all the way up until 38.70. Okay, I could not put the level here because MT4 didn't allow me to go much like uh, back in the in the history. In yeah, going back uh, before 2001 or two. Okay, so I saw it on a different platform. So the next key resistance level is. 138 138.70 if this uptrend continues its move to the upside so the, the I can say that USD JPY is still trending to the upside with a healthy movement XAU USD <clears throat> or gold this is gold gold also was trending to the downside however we have also here a kind of a range so as you can see most of the markets are in a range there is indecision there is no one direction so here the market is moving between 1877 and 1808 the good thing here is we can see bearish big bars for the last five uh, candlesticks okay so here we have one big one and another one here same to it and this is here so the market is more bearish than bullish so we have it has a tendency to move to the downside to test this 1808 
Okay, so the market will move most probably in the coming uh, days to 1807, 1808, 13 to 14 points to the downside. And if this downtrend was continued or still moving to the downside, the market could reach the 1781, or let's let it be conservative, maybe 1786 at the end of this week, beginning next week. Okay. Our analysis is for one week, so we're giving you what most probably will happen uh, till next week as a long-term analysis, as a short-term analysis. Maybe it takes few hours to maybe two, three days. So for the long, for the short term, um, I guess the XQUSD or the yellow metal, which is the gold, could reach the 1808. Brent, Brent or UK Brent oil, UK Brent oil managed to reverse and move to the upside. However, it faced a strong resistance around this area here, which is 113, 113. The market is testing this area, but we have strong bullish movement to the upside. So what I see here, if we go on the lower time frame, we have a break of structure. We have a break of this bearish channel which is good, we have a consolidation, so the buyers were preparing to move to the, pri uh, to move the price to the upside, which they succeeded to do, and now it is testing the 113. What, what's next? I see the um, UK brand oil moving to the upside until reaching 117 or 118 as a long-term analysis. If the current daily bar close above the 113. So if this bar today close above the 113, okay, with a, a big body bar, then most probably we can see the UK brand oil reaching um, the 180 level easily, okay. <clears throat> So yeah, this is for UK brand oil. US 500, US 500 posted kind of a strong uh, movement to the upside. So if we see the US 500 on the higher time frame, we can see that it is moving to the downside. Okay, we are in a downtrend. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher, uh, lower lows, lower lows. So we have higher lows and lower lows. Definitely, we are in a downtrend. The market here uh, tried to reverse, but it failed. So it turned this move to be a deep correction. It's not a reversal. It faked the buyers. It trapped them here, and then the sellers took control and pushed it to the downside. So maybe the same scenario could happen for US 500 if the market will move and make a deep correction similar as what it happened before with the same lens. So I will take the bottom of this correction to the top of it. And if I take the same lens, maybe we could see the same movement here. And then most probably the market will drop again all the way down until reaching the lower end of this impulsive wave. Okay, so maybe the market will move to the upside, reach this key resistance level. This is our most probable, probable uh, scenario, reaching the 40.38 and then drops till 3,841. And if the sellers continue pushing it to the downside, it might reach this area here, which is 36. 3640 or 45 okay so as long as this trend line is not breached to the upside or it is not broken to the upside then we will not see a reversal to consider a reversal and move to the upside for the US 500 we should see a breakout of 
this area of confluence made of the bearish trend line and the resistance around 40 37 okay and then the market will go to the upside however for now I see that this is a deep correction similar to the previous one we compared it to this one and as you can see it will it will coincide with the resistance so it might find so the market might find sellers and push it until this support level 30,841 and the next target could be 3644 BTC USD BTC USD is not doing much unfortunately also it was in a good or healthy downtrend lower highs lower lows and then it faced a strong support here around 1940 18800 sorry 500 19500 okay so the market is sitting around this area as you can see and entered into a kind of a channel okay so also we have here indecision between sellers and buyers nobody is taking control of the market we have kind of a parallel channel <clears throat> if I use this indicator like this you can see that we have a parallel channel here Okay, so most probably this will continue until one of the participants will take control and since we are in a downtrend most probably the sellers could have the highest chance to break it to the downside so we are in a downward movement so most probably they will break it to the downside but for now I will not take any position for BTC USD until I see this 19500 level is broken by a big bearish body bar to the downside to consider a sell position for now the market is ranging and this could last i don't know a few days a few weeks nobody knows if we look here we have similar pattern okay where the market was in a range and this lasted around I can say from 13 May until or we can do like this um, 13 May until uh, 10th, 10th of June which is around one month so this could do the same okay nobody knows and trading is all about repeated patterns for now you cannot do anything maybe short sell it if you can find um, common patterns on lower time frame we're talking about 15 minutes or one hour time frame sell it all the way down until the lower end of the range which is here 19900 this is as a short term analysis long term analysis we need to see the 19500 level broken to see what most probably what will happen or most probably you will see a continuation uh, to the downside and reaching this level here let me go back okay there is en not enough data here on MT4 maybe reaching this area here 16,000 okay so if we have a, a broken support to the downside by a big bearish but that most probably we will see the BTC reaching the 16 okay so this is it for today's session thanks for attending the webinar if you have any question or uh, asset that you would like me to analyze it please drop it on the chat okay thanks guys again and see you next week um, and see you on Thursday that is the educational webinar about moving average if you would like to join for the weekly update see you next Tuesday bye bye and trade safely